This is the kind of pastor that I want. Here's the video. Okay, man with a gun, congregation is terrified, all right? And wow, the pastor takes him out, tackles him, okay? Uh, let me give you some background, this happened in Nashville. The Nashville pastor is being hailed as a hero by his congregation, uh, definitely a bold move. The pastor's name is Ezekiel D. Kamana, okay? That's Pastor Ezekiel. He's the guy who likely saved many members of his congregation. The gunman's name is Desire Bagonida. And this guy is 26 years of age, was sitting on the front row of Sunday service. At the Nashville Light Mission Pentecostal Church. Now they thought he was a congregant. He was there to enjoy the service, according to them. But he suddenly pulled out a gun and walked up to the altar while the pastor was praying with several members. Um, after being tackled by the pastor and apprehended, the suspect told police he was Jesus while he was being taken into custody and that all churches and schools need to be shot up. He had attended Nashville Light Mission before, but never became a member. He is currently charged with 15 counts of felony aggravated assault. And the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department says that more charges may be coming. Now let's be real about this, okay? All right, so they, they are going to fix a bunch of criminal charges. And listen, maybe it's justified or also maybe there's a real mental health condition here, right? But the sad reality is he will likely never be assessed for a mental health disorder, even though it seems like possibly there could be some there there. Uh, the congregation itself, uh, they are okay. Uh, there were some people that tripped obviously trying to run out and, and get out, but everybody's fine. Uh, but we highlight this story because a few factors. Number one, uh, mental health is a serious issue. Uh, number two, as Republicans would tell you, which is not true, that the only way to stop Somebody like this who has a gun is to have another person with a gun. This pastor disproved that theory. Uh, they were able to disarm this man without the use of a gun or killing him. Now you mean to tell me that this pastor, let's put a pastor Ezekiel again. Let's put his picture up. Uh, this pastor who is not trained as a law enforcement officer. This pastor who has never taken any hand to hand combat uh, classes whatsoever. This pastor was able to disarm a would be violent felon who was hell bent on shooting people. He did that. Now, why do you think Pastor Ezekiel was able to do this? Because Pastor Ezekiel gives a damn about human life. That's why he was able to do it. Ben, what do you see here? Yeah, I mean, it takes an incredible amount of courage to yeah. approach a man with a gun. I mean, because like, look, when you have an unarmed person and an armed person, right? We all know the odds on that. And obviously, yep. he had a, an advantage because he was coming from behind him. But like, that takes a lot of courage to to go and stop that person from, you know, doing whatever he was planning with the church. Obviously, he had a gun, so it's a very dangerous situation. And what you said, I think, highlights the biggest tragedy of this all is it seems like that guy is struggling with something, right? Like he was armed in a church. It's not like churches are just stuffed with cash or anything like that. And and so there's obviously something that's going on there. And it it is just the like the big tragic part about this. In my view, is the fact that we all know that he's not going to get the help that it seems like he really needs. And that's yeah. really, I think, what we all would love to see.